Hi, in this session I'm going to cover how to find blanks within a table or within your worksheet. So sometimes you may have a table here and maybe instead of and maybe instead of blanks, you see there's these set of blanks here and there's blanks all over here. And instead of blanks that you have in your table, you want to have something else that's descriptive or make it a different color to indicate that there's blanks there or whatnot. And instead of going it one by one and trying to find it, there is actually an easier way to do it globally in a quick few steps. Now, the, this is using the GoTo feature, and there's a couple ways that you can access the GoTo feature. So once we selected this table, what we can do is, if we just want to have all this whole table selected, you can just go into any cell within the table and just press Control A, and pretty much it will highlight the whole table. You'll see that if I scroll down here, it's pretty Excel's pretty smart. It's going to find out the range of cells for this table. So you want to go to the Home tab under the Editing group and go to Find and Select here that drop down. And you actually want to go to Special. And when you click Go to Special, you're going to get this Go to Special dialog box. Another way to get through here is if you like keyboard shortcuts, is you can press Control G it's going to bring you to a go to dialog box and you just press the special button here and you get the same window you can also just press the F5 key and it's going to take you to the go to window and you click special here and you'll get the same go to special dialog box and what basically you're telling Excel to do is go to all the blank cells so when we click on that and click OK Excel will pick out just the blank cells you can see here we have a bunch of blank cells that it has picked out. And let's say that, for example, we wanted to change this to, instead of having it blank, maybe we want to put NA. So Excel actually has picked out one blank cell where you can type things in. And if you just type things in, if we can just say maybe this is NA and press enter, you can see it only changed it for one cell, but we want to change it for all the cells. So I'm going to go and press Control Z to undo and go, and this cell is still selected. What I really want to do is press NA, and then instead of pressing the Enter key, I'm going to press Control Enter, and then it's going to fill out everything. So that happens when you want to edit the cells. Now, if you wanted to apply coloring to visually identify the cells, you don't really have to press Control. You can just press the, you can just fill in color. So, for example, here I fill in yellow, and I want everything to be yellow. So, see now all the blank cells have a indicator that shows you instead of having blank cells you want to have something else in there and in this case we want to have those students that don't have a score have an A and or have their coloring of the cells yellow so that's an easy way to find blanks you can also use this to find other things if you saw in this example when we go to special if there's formulas that you want to to figure out in your table you can actually look for formulas and there's a slew of other things you can look for but this is not the intent of this video this is just for looking for the blank cells so you want to edit it so i hope that helps thanks for watching